Thank you. Uh, my name is Art Plicht. I'm president of the Newburgh Teachers Association. Good evening. As I have said in the past, morale among teachers is as low as I have ever seen. Teachers who loved their jobs and were able to really inspire children to be successful are finding that they are being forced to do so much work that does not involve teaching. They are wondering why they got into the profession, because it doesn't look like the same one as they entered. Teachers who loved waking up and coming to work every day do not find that same joy. With the requirements of the new evaluation system and the changes to the curriculum, teachers are working harder than ever <coughs> and feel less secure in their profession and in their ability to teach. And these are the really good teachers, the ones that work hard and love teaching. While many of the changes to teaching in our district have been directed by the state, and we are stuck with them until the state chooses otherwise, there are some things we can correct. One of them is the micromanagement of the classroom. If you have ever had the experience of someone looking over your shoulder when you were working on a tough task, such as balancing the checkbook, or writing a letter, you know that it is not helpful at all. It makes you feel self-conscious, much more likely to make a mistake, and very uncomfortable. That is similar to what happens when directors or administrators just decide to show up and sit in on classrooms for extended periods of time. I don't deny the importance of classroom observations by administration. And we have formal period long observations and informal or unannounced observations that are part of our contract. The NTA has also agreed to the idea of very sporadic and short walkthroughs to get a sense of teaching going on in the building. These are supposed to be non-evaluative and of a very short duration, three to five minutes. So an administrator can get a snapshot of the classroom. Feedback would be provided by that administrator to the teacher, and you would get a sense of what happened. But somehow this has changed this year. In the midst of all the other difficulties teachers are faced with, they are now confronted with some administrators and directors who will come into classes for 20 minutes or more, sometimes on a weekly basis, and observe the teacher at work and provide feedback to a principal, and they call it a walkthrough. It feels like an observation, and it's adding an inordinate amount of stress to teachers who frankly have had way too much stress already. One teacher was criticized by her principal because this walkthrough observer who stayed in the class taught by a student teacher for over 20 minutes had informed the principal that the student teacher conducting the lesson wasn't using common core language. <coughs> And these walkthroughs are also being done by non-administrators, math and ELA coaches in classes taking notes, looking over the shoulders of classroom teachers. If a teacher wants to invite a coach into their classroom for feedback on a lesson, that's great. But otherwise, no. Teachers are going through way too much now to feel the stress of extra eyes peering over their shoulders and second guessing. Let teachers do what they do best, and that's teach. If you want them to develop new teaching skills, then ask them what they need and provide real quality professional development. Please be respectful of the great educational staff that you have in this district and treat them the way they deserve to be treated. Thank you. Thank you.